they have their storybook ending. You've just seen tens and thousands of dreams come true. Their football league exile is over. 15 long years. Times when the club came close to disappearing. Kept going by the love of the fans. And then those two have taken it to a completely new level. A sprinkling of Hollywood stardust that has helped make this possible. Wrexham are back where they feel they belong. And fully deserved. Wrexham promoted to the EFL. They are National League champions of 2023. Over to you, Matt. Some people are on the pitch. You think it's all over. It is now. They've done it. They've done it. And there's, I think there might be a tear or two. Yeah, there is. It's not just... I'm not sure I can actually process what happened uh, tonight. I'm, I'm still a little speechless. I know that the one thing that's running through my head over and over again, as people said at the beginning, why Wrexham? Why Wrexham? This is exactly why Wrexham. What's happening right now is why. You've put so much into this project. How does it, how does it feel when it finally feels like it's paying off? Well, I think we can hear how it feels to the town, and that's what's most important to us. I think this is a moment of catharsis for them and celebration and for us to be welcomed into their community and to be welcomed into this experience has been the honor of my life. Um, so if anything, this Foster, Foster. <laughs> <laughs> jersey now. This is his jersey. Yeah. <laughs> this stinks, by the way. Honestly, <laughs> this absolutely stinks. <laughs> you are, are you wearing an undershirt? Yeah. Give me your jersey. <laughs> <laughs> Can't say no, he's the only one, can I? Are you putting that on eBay, Ryan? Or what's going on? <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I work in show business. We fall on hard times here. <laughs> 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 he texted me for that earlier. He did. He texted. He's so hungry for the shirt. Like he goes, make sure you don't throw it into a crowd. Right? I need that.